Is, is that, that right, Sergeant? Is that right? Well, <laughs> the, no, that wasn't right. The, the, the Moon Astros won in '81, and in '82 it was the uh, Yokohama Bombs. Oh, yeah, which is that group of mutant robots that uh, were playing in Japan. They used, they used to fight fires, right? They used to do a lot of interesting things until they were pensioned off. But I can't, I can't yeah, answer any more questions. Uh, yes, well, my just mind. Uh, 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 yes, we've uh, the call is. Uh, it's safe throat. to dial now. Is it throat? Yeah, apparently it is. So. We're going to dial him. Um, oh my God! Hello, Mister Throat. No, no, no. He, uh, hello. No, he's not. He's not Charles? here. I'm going to dial the number now. Oh, okay. okay. Walter, just take it easy. It's a rather long area code. That's a long name. On this number. Maybe maybe someone could come in here and spray Walter while we're getting the uh, getting the number for him, Last get him two, dusted two down, numbers. and turn him on before he goes on. All right. Wait a minute here. Okay. Let's see if it goes through. Hello. No one is admitted after one thirty. Hello, Charles. Wait, wait a minute. I think uh, there's I a think problem. This is we're one of these hotels. Hollywood. Yes, Charles. We're in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. That's not Charles. Uh -huh. His voice has changed. Charles. I don't think. Charles. One four two eight. Someone Hello, writing Charles. this down. Yes, I've got it. I've got it. The phone is a beautiful experience. Oh, it's been a beautiful experience talking to you, Charles. That sounds right. I'm fine. Charles, this is Hideo Gump of the Yokohama. Mrs. Throat, could we speak to to Charles? Uh, aus einer Oper für Bettler hören. Weil diese Oper so prunkvoll gedacht war, wie nur Bettler sie erträumen und weil sie doch so billig sein sollte, dass Bettler sie bezahlen können, heißt sie die drei groschen -Oper. Zuerst hören Sie eine Moritat über den Räuber Mekki, genannt Mekki Mettler. Und der Heimisch, der hat Zähne, und die trägt er im Gesicht. Und Mekis, der hat ein Messer, doch das Messer sieht man nicht. Good evening, good evening, good evening, dear friends. Ah, uh, there you are at last. Yes, it's time for Dr. Hideo Zombie and his famous physical culture hour. Doctor, kneel up to the microphone and... Let me get my knees on here. Many... Very many boys and even girls of all ages form the habit of handling their sensual organs before they know the harm it will do. Let me tell you some of the results of this terrible practice, which is called self-amusement. <laughs> A boy who thus handles himself cannot possibly grow up happy, healthy, and strong. This is true for two reasons. The conceptual organs have nerves running to all parts of the body. They also have a great many blood vessels. Whenever these organs are handled, it draws too much blood to them, exciting and inflaming them and leaving other parts of the body without enough blood to nourish them. The nerves, too, carry the inflamed condition from the seminal organs to other parts of the system. It lays the foundation for consumption, paralysis, and heart disease. Oh, it weakens the, oh. the memory and oh. makes a boy careless, stupid, and oh. too lazy to study or even play with any keen enjoyment. Oh. It makes the form stooping instead of erect. 
It makes him narrow-chested and thin, causes the muscles to become flabby so that he cannot excel in outdoor sports. Ah. Charles Atlas. And even causes many to lose their minds, and others, when grown, to commit suicide. The results come so slowly that often the victim of self-amusement is very near death before he realizes that he has done himself any harm. However, Doctor, there, there is a cure for this, as, as we well know. And here is your friend and agent, Westminster Chimes. It's best if we merely look at ourselves in the mirror in order to ascertain if indeed we are of a healthy physiognomy. The physiognomical signs of a good genius are a straight erect body, neither over tall nor short, neither fat nor thin, the flesh naturally soft, the skin neither soft nor rough, but a medium, the complexion white verging to a blush of redness, the hair between hard and soft, usually of a brown color, the head and face of a moderate size, the forehead rather high, the eyes manly but clear, of a blue or hazel color, the aspect mild and humane, the teeth are so mixed that some are broad and some are narrow, a subtle tongue and the voice between intense and remiss, the neck calmly and smooth, the channel bone of the throat appearing and moving, the back and ribs not over fleshy, the shoulders plain and slender, the hands indifferently long and smooth, the fingers long, smooth and equally distant, the nails white mixed with red and shiny and the carriage of the body erect in walking. I love you. So you see, dear friends, you too can be cultured physically as well as mentally. Now here's Dr. Sam Sakamoto from Yokohama, Nippon, with a few words of advice from his country as only he could tell it to you. Thank you, uh, is this on? Yes. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sanchez, uh, Dr. Zombie, and um, thank you too. Mr. the time and a special audience. What uh, I have, what uh, have I uh, said uh, regarding the effect on the health of a boy is a true also of a girl. <laughs> right on, Doctor. <laughs> How? Unmistakably sad to see a girl who has a ignorantly made a shipwreck of a that which should be her a greatest treasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Her own a growing womanhood. Mm, you said it, Doctor. 41, uh, 26. Uh, Not only does self amusement uh, ruin the health and a mind, but it so affects appearance that, uh, as a rule, all one can tell is what is the matter. The sign on unmistake a bird. There will be bloodless rips, the dull, heavy eye, surrounded with a dark ring, the branch, the cheek, the nervous hand, the short of breath, the old, the faded look, the weakened memory, the silly irritability, and a big, a happy bed, smile. <laughs> These are tell a story. Or to a friendly. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Sam. Yes, friends, and one of these can be yours. One of these can be yours, friends. Send only two dollars and the top of your hat to the Friedstein Theater Program, bringing physical culture your way each week at this time. The instructions, of course, are clearly printed inside the envelope. I wonder if you could read the... Uh, for those of our, those of our, our non-seeing listeners, it fits tightly over your entrance and uh, prevents anything from happening by keeping your husband out. Let, let me in, Louise. Stop what the Just remember, it's useless with friends, uh, no relations, or anyone that you aren't closely associated with. I'll just stay George? in the closet here. George Stevens, you stay out of here. <laughs> now be sure and always wash your hands before handling it. And 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 remember to hold it up to the light and, and examine it for holes because on, baby, come on, baby. this looks like a piece of Swiss cheese. I wonder if it's going to work. Now it won't work if it has any holes in it. If you find any holes, even little pinpricks, <laughs> or pinpoints, just come back for a new one 
send in the old one and we'll do something with it now. There he is! Oh, come on, baby, let him now. No, 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 just wait. Squeeze a, squeeze a little bit of jelly or, or jam or, or, or whipped cream or anything. I think I used some of Dr. Bad's brain what control jelly. Yeah, yeah. Put that around the outside. Cut it out, will you? Always use the brain control cream. Never a substitute. Right, stuff. I knew he was going to say that. Don't Look. use motor oil. Even 30 weight. Honey, you been playing with yourself again? What's the matter with you now? Now, now, now. now wait, now wait. In, insert it. Insert it. You still have time now. In, insert Who it. Who is that man talking in there, honey? In, insert it before anything happens. It, it, it's, it's, it's good to get in the habit of putting it in oh every my night. Oh, God, the brain control jelly's Before through a, the anything can happen. It's now, your fox. It's me, Whitney. Come on, baby, open the door now. Leave it in, even if, even if there's, there's well, nothing going to happen. Well, well, if you understand ain't what I mean. Nothing going to happen tonight with you, Whitney. Now, if, if back if, to your home, Mr. Fox. If it's been four hours or more okay, baby, since anything leaving. has happened, why? I'm packing my tail between my legs. I'm going over and visit another vixen. So long, baby. Put some more jelly on it, and and. Hello, and, Mrs. Stevens. <laughs> this is Yaya from next door. You want to play? I can't play tonight! Now remember, to cover it completely with the item, you'll, you'll feel it at the, at the top of, of the other thing. <laughs> and you can tell because it feels like, this may sound silly, ladies, but it feels like the end of your nose. Oh. <clears throat> Run your finger all the way around the end of your nose to make sure that it's completely covered. Hey, oh. what happened to my nose? And then, then... Come on out. Press it in. <laughs> and and be sure to wear it in. There you go away, Hilario. When you come to see the doctor. You know you're of another race. Because you know that you're going to have to see the doctor. <laughs> because out again to the ball? <laughs> you're going to have For another ball movement? a baby. <laughs>